Bill Baxter is one among the expert artists in Hanoi City. Coming here 16 years ago, Hanoi has now become part of his life and also part of Bill's favorite stuff, art. With different activities in music, photography, and painting, Bill is helping to enrich the art scene in the city and at the same time, expressing his love that he has for the city he's living in. Thank you very much for joining in our show up on the mic of VTV4. So first, could you tell me, when did you come to Vietnam and since when did your art life start here in Hanoi City? I first came to Hanoi actually in 1993 as a student uh, and I got, uh, I guess I kind of fell in love with, with Hanoi uh, and, and through studying about it and, and traveling through Vietnam and then I came back to Hanoi in 1995 for four months. Um, and at that point already kind of felt at home here. Uh, so I came back here in 1997 uh, and I have been living here ever since then, so nearly 15 years. So my art at the time, you know, I'm uh, actually I'm a musician. I play particularly Latin percussion um, and I have played with, uh, had the uh, I guess the, the honor of playing with a lot of Vietnamese musicians. So coming here to Vietnam to work, but apart from that you are an artist, so could you share? Artistically in a way, but it's more kind of a research, it's more kind of secondary rather than the, the um, you know, the art and music I guess is more primary. I mean, I still consider myself a musician first before an art, a, a painter, but uh, I, again, I've gotten more into, more involved in, in in painting. To introduce your music to the local audience? Well, I like all different styles of music. I mean, I like a lot of, most of what I like, it, it tends to be kind of a slightly unusual in, in Vietnam, but at the moment I'm also, I'm playing a more, I guess a little bit more um, traditional style with playing in a kind of a blues band, but also there's a, you know, at the moment now in Hanoi, there is a kind of a an experimental electronic music scene which is is very interesting because it's very you know it's very avant-garde but it's really on a you know a technical level uh, that is the same as as what you would get in, in abroad and they're one of the best events I've ever played in and again having a chance to play with Chi Ming and then also some other foreign artists and some other Vietnamese artists and um, uh, again, the 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 level of, of um, I guess the the level of creativity is is, is very high and and um, and is something also I guess quite unique. Bill Baxter has long been working with other expat local artists in Hanoi in joint music projects, known as Bongo Bill. He has played different types of music including jazz, blues, and recently, the experimental electronic music. He and other artists have just joined in the pre-event of the Hanoi Sound Stuff Festival. The event was an opportunity for artists to experiment different contemporary music genres, bringing new sensation to the audiences. But for Bill, music is not his only favorite art subject. Apart from your love for music, you also have great interest in painting. So, how many exhibitions have you organized, and what can you say about your latest exhibition, The Flitting Glimpses? This is my third exhibition, but I would say this is, um, you know, the one where I, I I feel like I'm starting to kind of hit my stride as a, as an artist. I still have have more to go, but um, I'm getting. I I feel like I've gotten a. I guess a consistent message in terms of what I'm you know, portraying about Hanoi uh, with this one. This one I feel like is, is a style that I like because it, again it's very much a representation of the, uh, the architectural aspect of Hanoi that I really enjoy and that I find quite, quite interesting. Where do you get the inspiration for this exhibition and what is the message that you want to send through these artworks here? Because I've been in Hanoi and really have a kind of a special, I guess a special bond with Hanoi, um, it's a way for me to kind of express that. My message would just be simply, you know, to 
just to encourage people to kind of open their, uh, you know, keep their eyes open and just appreciate the details that we see. And also, I guess particularly, it doesn't have to be something that is really uh, spectacular. It can be a very small detail, but and an everyday life detail, but that we can kind of appreciate those details. After a couple of years of work, Bill finally opened his third solo painting exhibition. The event, themed Fleeting Glimpses, featured 16 paintings reflecting the vision of Bill's towards the city that he has been living in. The paintings were drawn from the memory of Bill about the places he has been to, the things he has seen and the atmosphere that he has felt in Hanoi. With the bond between him and the city, Bill hopes to bring the audiences a different view on the place. That it Being an expat here and devoting much of your time on art, so what do you think about the environment for artists in Hano City? I would say right now there's really a very interesting art scene going on in Hanoi. I think maybe better than ever um, in that there's, you know, again, a lot of a lot of people doing interesting things both on the music side and on the art side and and um, you know there's good synergy and collaboration between the two and again there's also there's there's a lot more mixing between uh, you know expat artists and musicians and local artists and musicians and this this is also I think something that that is is really encouraging. I believe that even this exhibition has just started. You already had in mind some plans for further art projects. Could you reveal that? I already have about eight pieces in progress. So, uh, you know, which is usually, hopefully, I guess for any artist, by the time you're actually showing pieces, you've already in your own mind moved on to the next series. So I'm actually now doing something a little bit more abstract, but taking pieces, kind of taking these kind of images and deconstructing them and kind of reassembling them in almost a collage-like fashion. And it, it, a little bit like cubist painters like, like uh, Picasso and uh, George Brock.